Great oratory, great oratory. A lot of strength. I'm washing some dishes, so don't mind me. I just felt like dropping a message, and every time I drop a message, I'm in the, usually in the middle of something. But I wanted to tell y'all to be positive, stay positive, no matter what's going on around you, and all these things that they're feeding your brain. You know, because uh, once you keep watching something over and over. It starts to become a part of you and seep in your brain. I don't really watch the news. I don't actually, I don't watch the news. I don't have a TV in my house. Um, but I don't really need one. And in my shop, I play music and the things that I want to hear from like YouTube and stuff like that off the Wi-Fi. Um, the reason being is just, it's more better. You know, you get to program yourself um, what you want to hear instead of having the media program you because they're programming you every single day you see with this uh, virus thing that's going around I don't listen to the numbers I don't pay attention to none of that stuff I just do what I have to do to protect my business and protect the people have, that have fear of this virus because I don't have no fear of anything no virus, no nothing because I know one day I'm going to go that's all that's promised and while I'm here I'm going to continue my legacy, which is to inspire and help people. So I don't pay attention to these people's um, numbers and, and this and that. I just protect myself first by detoxing and putting certain things in my body, and, um, you know, making sure I'm getting proper rest. I never used to, but I'm getting better rest and stuff like that. I'm in a peaceful environment, peace of mind. Nobody's going to come and tell me and feed me their, 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 their negativity or what's in their head unless I let them in. And when I'm at work, I work. You understand? So I don't let these people feed me with these, um, with their tricks. Remember the war on terror? The war on terror, every week something was happening where the terror alert went up and we would get scared. It's the same kind of programming. First, they programmed us from from 9/11, you know, where we had to watch out for terrorists and and start being more careful and and going through the airport, you know. It's just another form of control where they're trying to implement these programs. So this is like the the the, the, the second step or the third, whichever one it is. I don't know where they are in their minds. But I know that they're not going to control my mind or quarantine my mind, like I said before. You can't get me to think how you want me to think. And a lot of you people running around scared and nervous, stay in the house. Don't come outside. If you're that scared, stay in your house, and when the time is right, you come outside. But for us regular people, we have to live our lives. We can stay in the house all the time. I'm not saying you go around and party and do all that, but handle your business. Make your money, because you got to eat, and you got to do what you got to do, right? So, at the end of the day, um, stop being so fearful of, of things. Of course, we, we, are, we fear, of course, you're going to have natural fear, but keep in mind, um, the last time I checked, I haven't heard anything about anybody else dying of anything else. It's like everything just disappeared. You know, people don't die of things no more because everybody's so worried about this virus. It's a lot of famine going on that's killing more people than this virus. All these cancers and all these other things are still going on, right? So why are we ignoring those things? I told somebody, um, if you look at the numbers of Jamaica's COVID deaths and you compare them to uh, one gunman, one notorious gunman, killed more people than COVID down there, but we're running from the COVID and we're not concentrating on the gunmen and the real issues and the corruption. That's really killing people on a day-to-day -day basis, but killing them slowly. So I don't sit around and worry about nobody's politics and all these tricks and all this stuff. I just post my videos, work, work on myself and go home and try to stay around positive, positive people. That's it, keep it simple, man. Keep it simple. Keep it simple, man. You know, it's simple, man. Stop feeding yourself. Stop sitting in front of that tube. Y'all be sitting in front of the TV like this. Oh my God. More cases. Oh, 
What are you gonna do? You, just, you living in it now. Just, just stop watching all that stuff. Go work on yourself, man. Work on yourself. Work on your health. Work on your mental health. You know, analyze yourself and figure out what you need to do to get better so you can fight whatever it is that's out there. Because if you're weak, your immune system is weak, your body is weak, your mind is weak, anything could come in there. They're going to be like, yo, let's go over there. That's the spot right there. You don't see it's open? It's open for everything. You're open for everything because you're so scared and so nervous and you're not taking the proper precautions that you're supposed to take for you and your body. That's all I'm going to tell you. Oh, it's my day off, by the way. I still got to run a lot of errands. But don't do what you got to do, man. Do what you got to do, man. Carry on. I'm going to finish washing my dishes and go do my other things. Carry on. <laughs>